Have Classics, where we restore history one classic at a time. Welcome back to Must Have Classics. I'm Nick, and today we are back on the 1967 Fairlane. Last episode, we tried to get it running, had some problems with that, but I think I've got that figured out. I'm not going to work on that today. Uh, today, we're going to start tearing this car apart. Uh, if you aren't familiar with this car, go back and watch the last episode. We did a whole walkthrough around it and uh, started working on that 429 to get it to fire up and run. So yeah, today's episode, I want to get it all torn apart. I want to get all the grill off. Uh, all the side trim off this fender is it going to be used so i'm going to go ahead and pull it off um, and then i'll probably try to get the hood off too because it's not going to be used as well since that whole bottom side is rusted out uh glass may stay in it for right now but i may just i'm going to drop the windows of course after i get the hand the door handles out get all the trim off of it and then i'm going to go ahead and strip at least the paint on the lower quarters for this episode and probably some of the rockers just to make sure nothing's hidden underneath there and then i will get a better idea of what parts we have they will be here the rest of the parts for this car uh, will be here tomorrow so then i can go through and check everything else like i said i really want to see what's hiding underneath here because i know there's filler in that bottom so i want to see what's hiding there and then we'll kind of go through what parts we have in here and see what we have don't have and all that um we've kind of got a better idea of how this car is going to be built from here so all the thing we can do from now is just get into it and start tearing it apart uh so i guess that's what we'll do i was planning on trying to get the engine pulled and everything maybe this episode but my wife and i with our daughter were in a car crash last week so my back is still hurting and uh i can't really get much help getting that out today so that's why I'm going to try to get everything else done. Until then, so next episode we'll get that engine and transmission out and probably get the car stripped down to bare metal if I don't do it today. If I get this taken apart real quick, I might just go ahead and put it in a bare metal um, and see exactly what we're working with. Another problem I forgot to mention is I'm concerned here about what I'm going to be working with in there. Uh, I mentioned it last episode. The more I've looked at it, the more I've been concerned about that. Um, you can also see where there's been a lot of shrinking from filler work before. Yeah, you can see filler in here. So the car had to have had a quarter panel put on this one, but they did a good job because I have felt underneath and haven't been able to feel it anywhere unless they spliced it in here somewhere. Again, we'll find out once we go to bare metal because that's a little bit concerning of what I'm going to have to do to fix that. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. So all I can do is start getting into it. I'm going to start with the grill and then kind of work my way back. So all we can do is get into it.
All right, so there's the front grill done. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just had the few bolts up through here and down the sides. I do need to pull this one piece off here, um, but these clips are just twisting off. They're so old. Just fine, you can replace them. That's no big deal. Uh, hood trim came off pretty easily. Um, so all that's pretty much done besides that. Here, I'm gonna start moving down and doing all the side trim next. Um, I'm probably not gonna film it. I'm probably just gonna knock it out real quick. Uh, Cause it's gonna be a lot of like reaching up behind everything and getting the clips to come loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all the side trim off and then I'll check back in once we got that off. And then we'll move on and go ahead and pull that fender off over there and then start getting into door handles, mirrors, all that. Again, all pretty straightforward. So we definitely need to fix that or replace it, probably just replace it. Uh, so yeah, like I said, trying to get this to the back so I can get the cert going down the bare metal as soon as possible. Um, but as quick as it was to do this, this car is probably gonna go into bare metal this episode. Uh, unless there's like some like crazy filler somewhere underneath it somewhere. But pretty much looks like it's gonna be okay. So yeah, let me go ahead and get all this trim off and then I'll check back in and we'll start moving in to get the fender and everything else off. All right, so I've got the side trim off. I have decided at the moment, I'm not gonna pull the door handles yet because the amount of space that's in there, it's almost gonna be easier for me to pull the glass first. But I do need to go ahead and get some parts ordered, so I wanna go ahead and start stripping this thing down to bare metal. Now my concern is that, as you can see, when they painted this car last, they didn't pull any of the trim off. You can even see where they didn't even pull the bumper off uh, when they painted it. And if there's something like that hidden, that you know, they wouldn't even do that. My concern is, what are we gonna find underneath the paint? Uh, so I'm hoping for the best, but kind of expecting the worst, you know? So I know that we of course gonna have problems back here. It almost looks like at times that this has had another quarter panel put on it on both sides, but yet it's just not like, it looks factory at the same like same time. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to clean that up somehow and fix all that. It just doesn't quite look Ford. Um, I've had quite a few Fords in bare metal and nothing looks like that. So I'll find out as soon as I start stripping this down. So I guess I'll start on that. If no, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I strip a car by using 80 grit on my buffer. Um, that way I can control how far I'm going. Metal doesn't get too hot. I've had problems with sandblasting, you know, we'll warp it and all that. And I don't like doing that. Uh, so I'm going to use the buffer pad and do it the way I've always done it like that. Um, so all I can do from here is just get into it. So I'm going to start stripping the back first because I know I've got rust in the back quarter panels. And then start working forward again. This fender is not going to be used. This hood is not going to be used. So that's going to save quite a bit of time. Um, this fender seems solid. The door seems solid. It's just the rear quarter panels and getting into uh, the lead patch and all that that I'm starting to get concerned about. So all I can do from here is start. So let me go ahead and start getting that taken care of and then we'll go from there. So I have to say, I'm not someone that ever like has high hopes when doing this. I have found that more cars have hidden damage than, you know, stuff you can see any time of the day. And it's more often than anyone ever really considers anyways. I will say this is easily top three so far. Point out so far, I haven't touched the other side or any of those stuff. This is probably going to be top three nicest cars to come in here. So this quarter panel came out great. It was a little bit of filler through here, a little bit of filler back in the corner. Again, stuff I would expect anyway, especially looks like it had been hitting the back a little bit. But down here, I mean, definitely going to put a patch in here. But it is in great shape considering. Um, I'm happy with it. The lead strip, which was another one of my concerns, it, you can tell it's had a little bit of shrinking here and there, but it's still all original intact. I'm gonna go ahead and weld this up, drill a hole, weld it up so it doesn't crack out again. Um, so yeah, so far pleasantly surprised on this one. 
I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the rest of it. I'm not gonna film it because it's gonna take me a while. I've been at this for quite a while anyways. Um, you know, and hope for the best. Like I said, very happy. Glad there's nothing hidden on this side. I'll do the other side next and just make sure over there. But fingers crossed, I think we're gonna have a pretty good car. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the other side and then I'll show you when the car is all done bare metal. So it's been a few days since I filmed on this thing last. Uh, I got kind of carried away and realized I had never done the outro to this video until I had already still filming the next one. So I'll go ahead and show you what we were working with. Uh, we left off stripping, we just stripped that side and now we started stripping this one. So I do have this one stripped down to bare metal. I've got a big dent right here. And then the lead needs a little bit of work there. Nothing terrible. All in pretty good shape. All of this down here is in good shape. Same here. We'll go around the other side, which you'd already seen. Uh, and it's in good shape, as we already knew. And then this door, it came out great. It's got a few little door dings here and there, but no filler or anything on it. The other door I'm a little bit more concerned about. So we'll get into that one later on. Uh, the next episode, you'll kind of get a better idea of what we're going to be doing there. Um, and continue to work forward on it. So all we can do is keep moving on. This car, I plan to do uploads on it every Monday, uh, maybe every other Monday, depending, because I've got a few other projects. Then every Thursday, you'll see videos like the Cougar, the Buick, and then another one I'm working on today. So subscribe to the channel to get updates on all these. Uh, we're gonna keep on building on, so. Uh, but that'll do it for today's episode. Uh, check us out on Facebook at Must Have Classics Rawls, R A L L S, and Instagram, Must Have Classics. I'm going to start posting there a little bit more often. I kind of took a break from that. Uh, same time I took a break from doing these videos. So I'll get back on that so you can get a little bit more day to day updates on what we're building. And uh, But there you have it. So that'll do it for today's episode. We'll see you back in the next one. Remember, get those classics out and enjoy as much as you can.